shows that our city is booming and it's growing. And well, the capital city is about to get crowded. More than a dozen events are planned for the downtown area. And they are warning that there will be packed sidewalks and bumper to bumper traffic all weekend. Good evening. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Adrian Moore. We have live team coverage of what you can expect this weekend. CBS 13's Dave Bender is live in West Sacramento for us tonight, tracking what the weather is going to be looking like. Well, we begin with CBS 13's Drew Balea, live in downtown Sacramento with the big crowds expected this weekend, Drew. Yeah, that's right. It's going to be a very, very busy weekend. We got 13 events just in the downtown Sacramento area, and the biggest one, Pride. Well, they've taken over Capitol Mall, and organizers tell me that there's going to be about 15,000 people coming through the gates. And as I mentioned, it's all part of this very busy weekend. Hundreds of tables, more than a mile of fencing. All in preparation for one of the largest street festivals of the year in Sacramento. To celebrate the things that we have, but also be looking forward to the, to the reality that not everything is sunshine and roses for everyone in our community. David Heitzman is the executive director of the LGBT Community Center. He says the Pride weekend starts with an equality march, followed by a parade and festival. And all day throughout the festival, there will be food trucks, entertainment, uh, activities for the kids, a lot of vendors. Pride will coincide with about a dozen other happenings downtown. It really shows that our city is booming and it's growing. Sydney Scheidemann is managing the Taste of Sacramento event in Cesar Chavez Park. We have over 45 vendors from wineries, breweries, farms, produce. For all events, safety is a top priority. We work directly with Sacramento Police Department and they tell us uh, what kind of security numbers we have. The Sacramento Police Department has spent days coming up with specific security plans for each event. At Pride, people will see cop cars like this being used as barriers to block roads and other soft entrances. A police spokesperson says the department monitors possible threats with the help of the FBI while crews on the ground secure each event from the inside out. You really have to live um, with the hope and the understanding that the, the vast majority of the time you're going to be safe and protected. So you'll see thousands and thousands of people on the streets and sidewalks, but also there'll be a lot of roads and there'll be a lot of, uh, excuse me, a lot of cars and there'll be a lot of road closures. Uh, we're standing on 3rd Street and it'll be closed all the way down to 7th here on Capitol Mall and that's just part of it. The road closures in the city core will extend to 19th Street and you can find all of these at CBS13.com by clicking on this story. Guys? We definitely want to be patient as well with all of those road closures. All right, Drew, yeah, thanks absolutely. so much for that live report.